Hey everyone, this is Greg Savage from MachineMasters.com and today it's going to be a hybrid tutorial where I'm showing you a little bit of sound design and a Jay Dilla hi-hat programming technique. Now if you've been listening to Dilla, you know he doesn't always use the same hi-hat in the track and if he is, he alters it so that way it sounds different. Today I'll be showing you how to do that in Reason's NNXT Advanced Sampler. For starters, I'll start selecting some hi-hats. The next step is to highlight everything and make sure that Alt is turned on. This is the key that makes everything work. Then change the range. I want to trigger everything with C3. And as you can hear, it's definitely cycling through the hi-hats, but I need to adjust these a little bit to get it to feel a little more authentic. Now just to give you an idea of what I changed, the first was untouched, the next one I messed with the attack, then delay, left 20 alone, the second 20 I adjust the attack, and then this 20 I adjust the frequency. Now let's hear it over some drums. So there you have it. It's a rather simple technique, but effective, especially if you spend time to adjust those hi-hats. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please share it, like, subscribe, and if you do have any requests for Sound Design Sunday, leave them in the comments below. See you next Sunday.